This haunting image posted by a crew member to social media shows the church where the fatal shooting took place. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins standing in front of Alec Baldwin next to the camera. The Santa Fe District Attorney saying criminal charges following the shooting have not been ruled out and that everything is on the table in an interview with the New York Times. NBC News reporting authorities have not yet characterized the case as a death investigation or criminal investigation. We need some help. Our director and our cameraman, this camera woman has been shot. After Baldwin was handed a gun he was told was safe to use Thursday, Hutchins was shot in the chest. Director Joel Souza wounded in the shoulder. NBC News has now viewed behind-the-scene video of armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed handing multiple guns to Baldwin days before the tragedy. At one point, the 63-year-old actor pulls a revolver from his holster, aiming it off screen during rehearsal, telling the crew he's ready to film. In a separate scene, another actor hands the film's 15-year-old star a long gun during rehearsal, which some experts say raises red flags. There are two people on the set that handle the guns, me, the armorer, and the actor. That's it. Nobody else has control of those guns. Nobody ever at any, at any time. Assistant director Dave Halls is also seen during rehearsals. According to a search warrant, Halls grabbed one of three prop guns that was set up by the armorer off a cart, left outside of the structure due to COVID-19 restrictions. Legal experts say Halls and Gutierrez-Reed could face criminal charges. What's unclear is if the fatal shot was a blank or a real bullet that should have never been on the set. If a real live bullet was in that gun, it is because someone has made a terrible mistake and they're going to have to pay criminally for it. This morning, with calls to stop using real firearms as movie props from all sets moving forward, authorities are getting closer to laying out what went wrong. And now the question, should someone face charges over what happened on this set? Miguel, back to that behind the scenes video. It hasn't been made public, but you actually got to see it yourself. So what else stood out? Well, Holly, we think it is important to note that some safety protocols were being followed. Just about everybody we saw on camera and off camera was wearing masks during the filming before and after. But it was also difficult for us to tell about the handling of the weapons and the safety checks that were done because not everything was obviously recorded on video. And another thing we should note here, the Rust Production Company has now also hired a lawyer and says they're conducting their own independent investigation. Hoda. All right, Miguel Almaguer for us there in Santa Fe. Miguel, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.